Welcome folks, we are doing experiment 2 of lab number 8 and in experiment 2 we are designing a mirror current source using the CD4007 chip the CD4007 chip and uh, this chip will have three pairs of complementary CMOS uh, transistors that can be used or configured and interconnected to develop different circuits. One of them is to be able to develop the mirror current source. So over here, I'm showing you that the connection of the circuit where we want it to have the reference current to be one milliamp, but the bias current to be roughly twice as much, about two milliamps. So if the transistors are perfectly matched, we should get about two milliamps on the bias current. So the way we're going to do the double currents is that we're going to have two transistors in parallel to provide the bias current where a single transistor is used to provide the reference current. So if I'm going to zoom into the circuit, uh, so you can see here that there is complicated wiring that have been done uh, to configure the circuit as a mirror current source. Uh, if you follow the diagrams carefully, that shouldn't be a problem to wire the transistor. When you build a circuit, you want to be a little bit careful. So let's look at the circuit carefully, what we have. So I'm going to zoom out now. So here I have a DC power supply. And this DC power supply has 5 volts. So here we have 5 volts from the DC power supply. And here is the circuit diagram connected then we're going to have a variable resistance so we are using a decade box so here we have the first knob over here this first knob basically will give you the numbers of the ones so it starts from zero ohms to nine ohms the second one uh, will give you the numbers of the tens just like we read numbers this is the ones the tens so you can vary the resistor value from zero to ninety the third one will be the hundreds, so it will change from zero to nine hundred, and this uh, one will be the thousands, and this will be here the ten thousands digit, and this is the hundred thousand digits. So it can be adjusted by playing with it. So we configured the circuit such as by varying this resistor, uh, the uh, reference current will change. And then, correspondingly, the bias current should be twice as much. If the transistors are perfectly matched, you're going to get twice as much. However, because of the tolerance of the manufacturing, when we build those chips, we have roughly about 5% tolerance in this chip. So the W over L ratio changed by 5%. And let me show you what's the data look like after I tune the resistor. So if we come here to... The DMMs, we have two DMMs connected. One of them will measure the uh, bias current, and the other one will measure the uh, reference current. So let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it. I'm basically moving backward. Uh, so you can see here that the reference current will measure one milliamp that's the reference current but the bias current is 2.1 milliamp we can adjust those values by changing the resistor if you make the resistor bigger the reference current will reduce and we can show you that here so i'm going to come in here and i'm going to increase the uh, thousands digit from 2000 to 3000 so you're going to see that the current will drop because when the resistor get bigger, the current I reference will drop. Then I bias will correspond accordingly. So here I make it uh, 3K uh, ohm. So I have here 3,384. You can see here the reference current dropped. And the bias current is roughly double that. A little bit higher than double, but roughly double. Which basically shows that the circuit works. So let me increase even the resistor more. You can see that the reference current drops and the bias current drops accordingly. Uh, so, you know, here I change this value 
of the hundreds I can make it lower so this is at 3000 at 2000 so here I can make it 1 milliamp again now I'm gonna make the resistor lower you're gonna see that the current will go higher so here we have 1.47 for reference current and the bias current roughly twice as much a little bit higher so the experiment does work and we can use mirror current sources to bias circuits so remember that when we design analog circuits like VLSI analog circuits when we design chips in general the biasing is done using mirror sources current mirror sources it's a it's a little bit advanced topic you know, not super advanced but little bit advanced topic but one of the things you need to know in this experiment is that you can bias a circuit using mirror current sources and that's what we did here